three. I've got something very special for you now. I'm joined by one of my favorite guests, Kirk from SW Machines. Ian, always good to see you, buddy. Now we're seeing a German company in Germany, and what do we have here today? American guy and a Canadian guy. There you go. So we're gonna walk you through the booth. We're gonna show two new machines to us and a really cool big machine, not new to us, but new to the world. So we're gonna start here with this machine. This is a BA profile machine. It's designed specifically for the machining of aluminum profiles and extrusions. Women extrusions for lots of different industries. We're very much focused on EV components. So this guy's for EV. Uh, we're gonna go around to the side of the machine. We're gonna take a look. So this is the classic SW configuration where on the front side where we're just at, you're loading and unloading the components. And then in the machining area, we have two parts being machined up to a length of two and a half meters. But in this case, we're putting our spindles on top of each other versus side by side. Again, this is that whole SW theory of why do one when you can do two. Exactly. Two at the same time, two spindles, horizontal, stacked on top of each other, independencies, traveling across on the X and the Y, going over to the other side of the machine for our tool change. And again, it's gonna to tool change two tools at the same time. Absolutely. And what size of magazine do we have on here roughly? Uh, two by 24. We don't need that many for aluminum extrusions. Tends to be um, not that much machining, therefore you don't need that many tools. Makes sense. Very now, good. This thing, what, sorry, what was the max length on those? Two and a half meters. Two and a half meters. Right? Big. Full four axis capability. So that's an aluminum extrusion that goes into a battery tray. So now let's go over to this big baby over here. So this Jeez. is our BA Space 3 machine. Why space? Because you need a lot of space for this guy. It's huge. Why three? Because it's three meters long. So the work envelope is three meters long for the size of a battery tray by about two meters tall and about a meter deep. So same exact thing, and we've got our KUKA robot here doing the loading on the, the front side of the machine while we're doing the machining on the back. So it really is a huge component coming around and uh, being machined. And you need this in today's space with all the change to electrification. So this is a full battery tray for Daimler. It goes into EQS. We had uh, one of the EQS cars at our open house in Michigan three weeks ago. Phenomenal car, $130,000. Beautiful, right? So it's got the battery train machine on the SW product. Keep that in mind. And the funny thing is, I remember the ones we saw at a previous show, the battery trays. I thought those were big. You could fit about five of those inside that thing. Absolutely. So now we'll kind of take a look in the machining area. Andreas, good? Entschuldigen. Here's Temper. So this is our Space 3 machine, and really it's the same same concept of doing machining in parallel with the load on load, just a much, much larger work oh, envelope. You know, it's huge. You guys gotta see in here. And that has a full B axis on that head, it looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely. So the fourth and fifth axis are on the spindle itself. So we can do, you know, machining on all sides of the battery tray, the complete face. Sometimes there are profiles around the perimeter where you need to get to all, all sides. So really important to have that capability. So with the increase in volumes and whatever else, um, in 2024, we're going to have this machine with two spindles. It means totally independent X, Y, Z's, means double the output. And this is perfect for giga casting. So anybody that's looking at giga castings in the future, we'd be banging out one twice as fast as what you'd be seeing here today. And this is already extremely fast. It's already fast. Now I know we got to keep moving here. What's the third machine we're going to see today? And okay, I don't know how we can top something like this. So those profiles that you saw in the first machine went into that assembly. We didn't do any of the welding, but went into that assembly. And at some point, that battery tray is going to go for assembly of the actual uh, battery cells and it's going to go into a car after it goes into the car you're going to drive it you're going to run out of range and you're going to need to charge it up so when you're charging these extremely large battery packs you need to cool them down right so these are industrial scrolls scrolls been around in the world of refrigeration and cooling for a long long time but now that we have you know more precise machines and you can create more exotic profiles these scrolls are used for the cooling of the batteries when they're being charged, when you're pumping all that electricity into them to charge the batteries. So this is kind of our, our 
second new machine, the W03. We had the 322 before with ball screws, but this W03 is now a linear motor machine. So 120 meters per minute, we're flying around and getting all the benefits of linear motors. Jeez. No ball screws, great precision. It's a great way to do it if you got aluminum. And this has a very trademark SW machines. It has the trunnion that comes in from the back. You can load parts while it's already running. Exactly. High efficiency, high production. It doesn't matter if you're manually loading here, or loading with the robot, loading with the gantry, whatever the case may be. You're loading in parallel with the machining, as with all machines. It's really getting done. Yeah. With a rear bucket eye film. Yeah. Let's see this. Yeah. So in this case, we're demonstrating the ability uh, to do, you know, engraving. You know, so we got a SW logo on one component, and then on the other, the the Emo logo for this week here in Hanover. So wow. fifth axis planets on this side, on top of our four axis uh, table, and then on the opposite side, you saw for the scroll, just a simple four axis window fixture. It, it's incredible that SW was really identified. You know, this is the future of automotive. We're doing as much of it as we can and making it as easy as possible for EV manufacturers. you got to adapt to the market. And right? if people want to see this machine and more, where can they go? www.sw-machines.com. And, of course, they can come see you here live at EMO. At EMO. Come on over, Hall 12. Thank you very much.